Manhattan Station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the International Space Station. I'm Dan Hewitt. In case you missed it, this week we took a big step towards getting ready for the journey to Mars. How? Space lettuce. For the first time ever, station astronauts ate lettuce that was grown entirely in space. On Monday, the crew harvested the latest crop of red romaine from the veggie experiment and were given the go to eat. Being able to grow food to supplement astronaut diets will be a big nutritional benefit to future missions to Mars, not to mention a welcome piece of planet Earth for humans spending months or years in metallic spacecraft. And they made sure to save some of that fresh food for their Russian colleagues who are busy outside with the spacewalk. Cosmonauts Gennady Padalka and Mikhail Kornienko completed a five-hour, 31-minute spacewalk on Monday. The pair installed some equipment to make it easier to get around outside the Russian segment, worked on a few external experiments, took a photo survey, and even tossed an old antenna overboard to burn up an Earth's atmosphere. Also over on the Russian segment, the Progress 58 cargo ship departed on Friday, freeing up space for some Soyuz rearranging in the coming weeks. This week's question comes from our friend Aaron on YouTube, who wants to know what are the differences between the U.S. and Russian spacewalking suits? Well, both are designed to operate in microgravity, but there are a few design differences. One of the biggest is how they're put on. The U.S. EMU suit is split into two parts, which means the astronauts put it on similar to regular clothing, shirt and then pants. Meanwhile, the Russian Orlan suit has a hatch in the back so the cosmonauts can crawl right into it. Astronauts in an EMU also are kept at a lower pressure, only 4.3 PSI, while the Orlan is operated at 5.7 PSI. Make sure to keep sending us your questions and comments using the hashtag space to ground We'll see you next week.